What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and hit that like button, it's greatly appreciated. Before we get into the magazine, the Magpul GL9 12 round mag for the Glock 26, I just want to show you a couple things because people always ask, but is that not the realest thing you've seen all day? Maybe all week. You know what, maybe all month. Is that not the realest thing, especially with how things are right now and how crazy things are? That's probably the realest thing you've seen because it definitely is for me. Also, Meeperlite bullseye sights. People love to see them. It's about 50-50. People say, oh, that's stupid, not practical. They don't work, blah, blah, blah. Meeperlite is actually, Meeperlite's actually a very good company. Um, they specialize in very like high-tech stuff like this and great inventions and sights for rifles. And they do a good job. They also make great night sights. So I don't know why people hate on it. It's innovation. It's technology. Um, this is good within 20 yards for me. I can shoot with this within 20 yards and hit where I need to hit and group the way I need to group. So they're cool. And also, I have the drapes shut right now. I just have a light at half dim. Look how bright that is. Love them. And also, the, the other complaint is, oh, they block your ability to see what you're shooting at. No, guys. It's the exact same setup as regular sights. That front post in the middle and then your two rears. So, um, you know, it is what it is. The Internet's going to be the Internet. But the GL9 Mag by Magpul. I probably have about 1,200 rounds through it at the range. I've shot it through this. I've shot it through my Glock 26 all OEM, my Barracuda build, my EDC build, and also my old Halson, um, the gray Glock 26 I used to carry. That has like 13,000 rounds through it. A lot came with this magazine because it's a range toy for me. I've never had one malfunction with it. There's a couple of things they did right and a couple of things I don't like. Now, the first thing, we'll start with what I don't like. Then we'll finish strong with what I do like. The only thing I don't like about this magazine is the ergonomics. I sort of like my fingers going this way a little more. I don't mind finger grooves, but this finger groove ends going backward. I wish it was sort of like hooked out a little bit, just like the, um, what do you call it, Walther PPS M2. It sort of locks your fingers in. If that thing were to curl up a little bit and push outward, or like even go straight, um, even on the Glock 26, a regular Glock, not with a frame like this, it's the same thing. It goes back, and I don't really like that. I also don't like the OEM 12-round mags for the Glock 26s. Are they reliable? Yes, but I don't like the overall ergonomics. Same for this one, but it does have good texturing right here. I'm not going to lie to you guys, um, so that is a good plus of it. The other plus, the price. Now, for carrying, I would never recommend this mag. Even though it's been reliable, I would never recommend it. Always use the magazine that came with that firearm or switch out the base plates, um, but make sure your firearms are reliable. Is this a range toy? Yes. I would use this magazine at the range all day as I have because I've had zero issues with that. I've even left it loaded for like two months, not a single issue with feeding. So that's a good sign because a lot of these aftermarket mags, you leave them loaded for a month or two without messing with them, you're spring shot. It just is what it is. But Magpul did a really good job with this magazine. Another great benefit of it, it has these pull-down tabs. If you have an extreme malfunction and this is locked in, everything's locked, and you need to rip, you can get some great leverage with these indents. So that's a definitely a plus. I would like to see Glock make OEM mags like that. You know, if they, you know, for the 26, they make the 12-rounder or even like the 19-round mags where they have that little lip right there, the little base plate. Throw this on there. That's huge. Um, it's definitely a great improvement. Um, so I like I like stuff like this. And I know a lot of people run the Magpul mags with their daggers and stuff like that, and they tend to be good. But guys, when I'm using a Glock, I want a Glock mag. And I know people are going to say, oh, this isn't a Glock. I get that. But that's why I keep it with this, because I carry my Glocks, so I want OEM mags. But Magpul, I got to salute them. For what it is, it's an aftermarket mag that actually runs. So is it worth saving the extra money to carry? No. But is it worth saving the extra money for extra mags for the range? Yes. Load up on 10 of these for maybe half the price of Glock mags. You know what I mean? Um, it's not going to affect. The only thing that would affect is your overall feel of your firearm because of the different ergonomics, but that's not a big adjustment. Um, and other than that, that's that's about it. So I can't hate on it. Can't go wrong with it. Anyways, that is the Magpul GL9 12-round mag for the Glock 26. Thanks for watching.